what's good everyone welcome back to another video if you don't know me my name is Bafour A. Doucet I'm a freshman at UCLA majoring in neuroscience and today I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should come to the school based on a couple criteria college commitments usually happen around May 1st so I'm hoping I get this video out on time but without wasting any more time let's hop into the video Let's start with a development that's very specific to this year and onward. Something that I didn't even have when I was an incoming freshman. Beginning in the fall of 2022, UCLA will guarantee four years of housing for incoming freshmen and two years for transfer students. Now that's a pretty big deal. The UC campuses have never been phenomenal with their housing situations. It is very typical to quickly have to get off campus housing and in Los Angeles, the rates can be very unaffordable to a student. Having guaranteed campus housing should end up saving you a lot of money and potential headache. The housing would be accompanied with a meal plan that could save you money and time on groceries, and your close proximity to campus will always be convenient in getting to your classes and navigating and networking through your undergraduate years. This is the first commitment like this seen out of all the University of California campuses, so it does distinguish UCLA from the rest of them. However, UCLA is already quite distinguished. It is widely known as the number one public university in the nation, with Cal Berkeley also often holding that title simultaneously. Regardless of whether UCLA beats out Berkeley or is more or less prestigious than private and Ivy League schools, UCLA consistently ranks high for good reason. It's a highly academically rigorous school that brings in top grade professionals from all around the world. And of course, a degree from UCLA is not guaranteed to get you places that a degree from another college couldn't, but it has strong potential too. If you're a person who genuinely loves learning, then you will really enjoy your time here. You truly get quality education, at least from my perspective. While the education is great, you're not going to enjoy every assignment or every professor you have, that's just how it works, we're human. But I don't want to conflate challenging or tough assignments and grading with bad teachers or a bad education. I've had my struggling points with essays and midterms. At the time, I felt they were unfair and irrelevant. But retrospectively, I can appreciate the level of thinking and content mastery it pushes you towards. All that is more in the walls of traditional academia. You know, study, memorize, and get graded. And if that's not quite for you, then you'll be excited to know that UCLA is a research school. A research school is an institution that works to produce new and innovative research through its students and professors. They do research of all fields at UCLA, not just the STEM ones, so you don't have to worry about that. However, if you are not that interested in research, it can be frustrating since it dominates a lot of the rhetoric at the school. There is a huge push and focus for getting into research projects, and you may not get as broad of a learning experience as a traditional liberal arts school. This may be one of the most important aspects of the institution. Continuing on, UCLA has a robust, extensive network. Name any career field and you can bet that there's probably a UCLA alumni or current student working in it. There are plenty of programs that connect students to alumni. This school is very attractive to students who have career goals in medicine and science for sure. UCLA Health Hospitals are currently ranked number three nationally. The university has a medical school, David Geffen Medical School. And while it is extremely competitive, the pre-med and pre-health environment is definitely strong and a good setup to go into medicine. And these are personally big reasons why I chose a school for myself. The school has a pretty strong connection to the job market for all types, and there are plenty of networking events. So you'll quickly see that it's not all about the grades on your transcript, but real world interactions and employment. Now, just as relevant as the academics and career oriented topics is the location. Of course, sunny and warm LA, 20 minutes from Santa Monica Beach, 30 minutes from Hollywood, 45 minutes to downtown. Being straight up, you do have great potential of meeting famous people and celebrities if you're into that at all. If you're trying to build a brand of any type, it may benefit you just to be in the city of Los Angeles and get connected with people you would otherwise have never met. And it's pretty warm all year round, weather is not typically an issue. But this point of location really hinges on the fact of whether you care for the city of Los Angeles or not. If you wanna get around the city, you're going to need a car or public transportation both of which will cost you some money and lots of time. And that is just not feasible for a lot of busy students. Also, 
LAX will be the main airport you use if you're coming from out of state or out of the country. So if you're flying, just know you're using one of the busiest airports in the entire world. However, if you're not trying to go too far, then the Westwood Village should be good enough for you. It's like a college town for UCLA where you'll see lots of students frequenting. Another important thing to remember about being in LA and California, the cost of living is high with high sales tax, shipping costs, gas prices, and the like. You're also bound to meet all different kinds of people from all over the world. So if you're not used to the diversity of California, it may come to you as a culture shock. You can still feel isolated in this pool of diversity though. The undergraduate demographic has a majority of whites and Asians. Some sources say that there are more whites and some say there are more Asians, but together they make up about over half the student population. All other races make up a substantially smaller percentage. I believe black students are only about 3%. So if you value diversity, just make sure you know some of those metrics and understand what exactly is meant when they champion the school's level of diversity. The campus itself is situated just west of Beverly Hills in a very hilly area. Our residential halls are on a place we actually call the hill, so walking can be a pain with all the inclines, but it is the smallest UC campus by square footage. The architecture is a mix of Romanesque and modernist buildings. In the center of campus is where you'll find some of the original buildings. And as you branch further into the surroundings, the buildings get more modern in look, but complex in design. I appreciate the mix of these aesthetics, giving me different feels of what university could look like. And then finally, class culture. If you are someone who wants to be proud and supportive of the school, rep all the merch, go to all the sporting events, then this place is absolutely perfect for you. School spirit is always high. No other way to put it. At the end of the day, I feel it is a very social school, if that matters to you. So much of the day-to-day -day life relies on interactions with other people. That might be a byproduct of the school being specifically in LA. Academically, the school is very competitive. I can mainly speak for the STEM side, but the students here consistently get high GPAs and you will be surrounded by hardworking and high achieving students. Now to go over some things that can be seen as cons for the school. UCLA is large in enrollment. Most freshmen have to dorm in triples and class enrollment can be very stressful with the amount of people trying to enroll in the span of a couple days. You will always need a backup plan and spots and classes are very rarely guaranteed. Sometimes you'll have to wait for resources, whether it's for class counseling or mental health, which can be distressing. Some people definitely prefer smaller schools and communities and it would be hard for that kind of person to go here. And again, with the number of students that go here, the parking situation is very difficult. Parking is very hard to come by and the pass is expensive. I think about $300 a quarter. It's very difficult to get a parking permit and a lot of people get waitlisted due to the lack of availability. So with all that said, should you come to UCLA? Well, at the end of the day, it really depends on your personality and careers as a student, which school fits you best. If there's another school that has a program or just a society of students that fits you better, then you should probably go there. But I do think there is a lot for everybody here at UCLA. And if you don't know what you wanna do, here's a great place to kind of figure it out. If you do want to work in California or anywhere on the West Coast, I think the school is a great launching pad with all those connections to start getting into those industries. Overall, I think it is a very solid, good choice. If you've been admitted to the school and you're trying to decide between other ones, I would highly recommend UCLA. Well, that's all I have for today. If you have any more questions for me, you can leave them in the comments or DM me on Instagram, which will be in my description. I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.